How you doing? Welcome back with our first session of Off Your Chest with Lena and Jeanette. How you ladies are doing? Okay. Um, finally, uh, Horace and Steve from In Your Chest actually get to ask some true down-to-earth young ladies that speak their mind and can answer some of our questions. Horace, what do you want to know from Lena and Jeanette? Um, from Off Your Chest. Lena, first. Um, when did you first realize that you were attracted to one particular race than the other? I mean, how old were you and, and what, what made you like, oh, that's it right there for me? Okay. I've always had a preference. Like, I always found myself attracted to a white guy. I noticed it when I saw my first Steven Seagal movie. Like, he was, he was white, he had his ponytail, I was like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna marry him. I would have his kids. <laughs> and ever since then, I just... Steven Seagal. I was, listen, I was like nine. Are you kidding me? Steven Seagal. What about Jean-Claude Van Damme? What about Jean-Claude Van Damme? Jean-Claude, yeah. We had Action Jackson? What? Well, that's, 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 that's Action Jackson. Okay, that was a bad example, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Call that this dog. You look at that superhero. You look at that Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel. Oh. It's, it's, Some so you so you say that you would just you you wouldn't you wouldn't even look at an attractive black guy. I mean you would. Oh, I can say that yeah, like Denzel is extremely attractive. I'm talking about realistic people that you can actually touch, feel. Yeah, <laughs> I have a, like yeah. Do you go after black? Do you go after um if a black guy was a prospect? Would we have to have Caucasian traits? For you to look, uh, look at him? Good question. Yeah, I can't, I can't handle a ghetto black guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> hold on, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. Like okay. a thug. I can't oh, oh, get do it. I gotta find a nice... Uh, I need him to be ambitious and like... A nice, a nice, a nice word for ghetto, we're gonna call it uh, disadvantaged zip code. Wow. Okay. How, how's that sound? Yeah, right. cool. But But listen, <laughs> you know, okay, do you have black guys that's uh, ambitious but not ghetto? But also not like, you know, rich or whatever. You see, I mean, that's the thing that a lot of people just assume, oh, you're a dirty white guy because he has money. No, that's not white true. guys without money, it's the same shit, really. That's true, that's true. So, I mean, I will look at a black guy and I will, like, like nowadays, I'm just curious. Nowadays? I mean, like... Why is that? What happened? What originally just happened? Because the white suck? guy sucks so, up. <laughs> all, all guys suck. Shit can happen and it, it makes guess, them suck. Guess what? Leave us right. All guys suck. All but guys all, suck. But all, all guys don't suck. All guys can improve. Some nibble and lick and we know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I got a version of That's why I said all girls suck, but um, yeah. So, so Jeanette, and you are on the same bandwagon as uh, Lena? No. No. What do you mean? White. What's that? Uh, yeah, That's a like, color? Cause, cause, <laughs> cause, <laughs> Caucasian, um, Anglo-Saxon. I love black right? guys. It's just something. The leather? Silk leather? Yeah. <laughs> we need a, a napkin, she's getting hot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I like Spanish too. So, okay, vice versa. Like Can you, if you was to, you know, maybe take a chance at a Caucasian uh, guy. It just sounds so would, boring. What do you have to have? Caucasian. If, if he had black traits in him, you know, he, he was uh, Eminem. That's what you have Spanish people for. 